Welcome to Everything with Everett. This is a talk show podcast hosted by Everett McConaughey. The purpose of this production is to share thoughts, voices, and information to further a discussion on who we are as individuals, communities, and a global society. Everything with Everett is open to all topics of discussion, faith, science, history, finances, social issues, and, well, everything. Be sure to follow, like, and subscribe. Visit everettpodcast.com for all the details. Greetings, I am back with you. It is now October, and with that comes the much appreciated change in seasons. It's getting cooler outside. Apple cider will be flowing shortly. Your favorite holiday smells will be wafting through the kitchen and the home. It's a time for family, it's a time for personal introflection, introspection, maybe that's the right word. Whatever, you know, you know me. I'll make it up as it goes sometimes. So, some of us are killing it, rocking it with uh, all the personal um, well-being steps and things that make us a happier, healthier person, but not everybody. Uh, myself included for the much of my lifetime, I uh, don't have these tips just like handed to us like, hey, you should try doing this or or maybe not even handed it to us like that, uh, but I guess given in a way that is inviting and encourages us to take care of ourselves to the point of, you know, not being so resistant to, oh, why are you telling me I should put uh, skin cream <laughs> moisturizer on. Are you saying I'm getting wrinkly? No, we all get wrinkly with time. It's important to take time and pamper yourself. And for those of you with children and other life commitments, I applaud you for finding a time to shove that into your daily schedule. But it is important. You have to take care of yourself because you are your greatest responsibility. So, I thought, um, since some of us don't have parental figures, um, maybe, you know, I don't know what your situation was growing up. Sorry, I'm adjusting the microphone right here. Um, so (laughs) if there's any weird squeakies, uh, that's, that's what that is. But, um, I'm thinking about doing a, every first Wednesday of the month, some kind of, um, advice for personal well-being. Uh, for that month, things that have to do with uh, whatever season it is. Um, I want to discuss things that are relevant to you as a human being, but also uh, maybe some maintenance topics for your car, your home, um, that you didn't or don't normally think of. Maybe you're you know, super busy with the everyday, and the last thing you're thinking about is crap. What season is it? How clean are, how effective are my windshield wipers? You know, so I want to be that voice um, for you, whether it's the beginning of the month, where it's, if it's the tail end of October and you're just pressing play, don't worry, you can catch up. There's, that's what's, that's the beauty of, of life. So whenever you hear it, you know, listen to, the advice, listen to what I have to say. And if you've already done it, great. If you haven't done it, you should do that in the next, you know, a couple of days. And if not, you know, who, who, who knows? <laughs> Just move on to the next month if you have to. It, it's okay. <clears throat> so personal well-being tips for October. As October ushers in cooler weather and shorter days, it's important to focus on physical, mental, and emotional well-being. 
while adapting to seasonal changes. You need to boost your immunity. Prioritize nutrition. Eat seasonal produce like pumpkins, squash, sweet potatoes, apples, beets, and beets. These foods are rich in vitamins A, C, and antioxidants that help boost immunity. You need to hydrate. As the air becomes cooler and drier, staying hydrated helps with skin health, energy levels, and digestion. Warm herbal teas, soups, broths, and... Excuse me. Warm herbal teas, soups, and broths are great for hydration. Vitamin D. With reduced sunlight exposure, vitamin D levels can drop. Include foods like mushrooms, eggs, and fortified cereals. You might consider supplements if necessary. I personally take a um, added vitamin D supplement of 2,000 IUs. Um, that is for recommended by doctors that I've had um, on both sides of the country along the 43rd <laughs> degree of latitude. And uh, you might want to do the same. 5,000 is the absolute maximum. You sh there's no way you should be taking more than 5,000 without doctor uh, guidance. So 2,000, 3,000 uh, per day in addition to your multivitamin is recommended. Number two, maintain physical activity. Outdoor walks. October's crisp air and changing leaves make outdoor walks enjoyable. Exercise outdoors exercise outdoors to benefits from ugh. exercise outdoors to benefit from fresh air and a connection with nature. Be sure to layer up. Wear layers to stay warm when exercising outdoors. Consider moisture wicking fabrics to prevent chills after sweating. Be mindful of movement. Stretching, yoga, and light exercises help you stay limber, especially as the cool weather as the weather cools and muscles tend to stiffen. Focus on flexibility and joint health. Number three, mental health and emotional health. Stay connected. Shorter days and the approach of winter can cause seasonal affective disorder or SAD. Keep social connections active by spending time with friends, hosting small gatherings, or enjoying seasonal activities like pumpkin carving or autumn hikes. Embrace fall traditions. Participate in fall traditions such as decorating, cooking, seasonal meals, or visiting fall festivals. These activities bring joy and help ground you in the present moment. Practice mindfulness. As the pace of life slows with the season, take time to take time for self-reflection and journaling. Meditation or simply enjoying the beauty of nature can help foster inner peace. Set a sleep, sleep routine. As daylight hours shorten, align your sleep schedule with the earlier sunset. Quality sleep is crucial for mental clarity and physical recovery. Number four, prepare for seasonal affective disorder or SAD. Light therapy. Consider a light therapy box if you are prone to seasonal depression. Exposure to light in the morning can help regulate your circadian rhythm. Create a cozy space. As we spend more time indoors, create a comforting warm space for relax relaxation. Use soft blankets, warm lighting, and calming scents like cinnamon or vanilla. Some seasonal maintenance advice for October. As autumn progresses, it is important to prepare your home and surroundings for colder months. These tasks not only maintain your environment, but can also bring a sense of accomplishment and readiness for the season ahead. Number one, prepare your home for cooler weather. Heating system maintenance. Check your furnace or heating system to ensure it's running efficiently. Change filters, clean vents, and schedule a professional inspection if needed. Seal windows and doors. Prevent drafts and heat loss by inspecting windows and doors. Use weather, use weather stripping or caulking to seal any gaps. Inspect the roof and gutters. Clear leaves and debris from gutters to prevent blockages. Check the roof for any damage, any damaged single shingles or leaks before the weather sets in. Chimney cleaning. 
If you use a fireplace, now is the time to have your chimney cleaned and inspected for safe use. Number two, garden and lawn pre preparation. Rake leaves. Regularly rake leaves to keep the lawn healthy. Leaving too many leaves can smother grass and lead to mold growth. Winterize the garden. Harvest remaining fruits and vegetables and prepare garden beds for winter. Mulching the soil protects plants, roots, and retains moisture during cold months. Plant bulbs. October is a great time to plant bulbs like tulips and daffodils for early spring blooms. Plant them before the ground freezes. Prune trees and shrubs. Trim back overgrown trees and shrubs to promote healthy growth and avoid winter damage. If you are mindful of the pollinators, this is the great time to do it because you don't want to prune the trees when there's a chance of a freeze. It can damage a tree, but also you want to get ahead of when they lay their um, overwinter nests because if, if they lay their nests and you wait too long and then you clip it, you could risk damaging your tree or, or bush uh, through freezing, but then also you're basically throwing away that uh, sleeping bug that will then be um, stuck in the landfill <laughs> and dead next spring. Section three, vehicle maintenance. Check your tires. Ensure that your tires are have adequate tread for safe driving on wet or potentially icy roads. If you live in anywhere with heavy snow, consider switching to snow tires. Fluids and battery. Check antifreeze levels, windshield wiper fluid, and car battery. Cold weather can affect the battery performance, so test it ahead of time. Now is the time of year that it will fail. So if you're having any issues with your battery, please err on the side of safety and prevention. Replace it now. Prepare a winter emergency kit for your car. Store an emergency kit in your car with essentials like blankets, snacks, a flashlight, and jumper cables. Also be mindful, if you're driving one of the newer rigs, uh, familiarize yourself with how to jump start those vehicles, as well as what you can do to assist other motorists. Personally, I drive a hybrid um, Toyota vehicle, and there are some restrictions and uh, advice in terms of jumping other vehicles and being jumped by other vehicles. It is not the 1990s anymore. Um, you can damage your vehicle if you don't know what you're doing ahead of time. So be familiar with the capabilities of your vehicle, what you can and can't do, and also what kind of help you can and can't accept. Finally, number four, home decor and comfort. Change bedding. Swap out lighter summer bedding for cozy, warmer options like flannel sheets or heavier blankets. Fall scented candles. Incorporate candles or essential oils in fall scents like cinnamon, clove, or pine to create a warm, comforting atmosphere indoors. Seasonal decor. Decorate with pumpkins, wreaths, or other autumnal elements to bring the cozy fall spirit in your home. In summary, in October, focus on maintaining both physical health and mental well-being as the season changes. Stay active. Eat nourishing foods and keep social connections alive. Preparing your home and surroundings for colder months ensures both comfort and safety by embracing seasonal changes. You can stay healthy, warm, and positive as you transition into winter. Thank you for listening to Everything with Everett. Connect with Everett and other listeners on Facebook and Twitter at Everett Podcast. Everett would love to hear from you. Share your thoughts by emailing mystory at everettpodcast.com. You can also leave a voicemail or send a text message to 208-391-2808. Choose to listen, speak with kindness, and have a great day.
That's Molly Miklos of VoiceOvers by Molly, LLC. VoiceOvers by Molly, LLC is ready to collaborate with you to create the best voice for your project. Molly's voice is professional and clear, warm and friendly, with a versatile twist, capable of snarky and sassy. Molly has a wide range of voice styles to provide a plethora of moods for your TV, radio, and character projects. Contact Molly today. She wants to collaborate with you. All the information is on her website, voiceoversbymolly.com. <laughs>